Welcome to another episode of GitLab Quick Guides. Today, we'll simplify the process of getting started with GitLab by guiding you through generating an SSH key and cloning your project. In just a few minutes, you'll learn how to create a secure SSH key pair directly from your GitLab profile. So let's get started. This is my sample project in GitLab and I want to clone this using SSH. I believe you've already installed Git and Git Bash from this source. Select the appropriate Git based on your operating system. If you have Git installed, go to the search bar, type, Git Bash, and open the application. Then type following command and I will provide in description. This command generates a new SSH key pair using the ed25519 algorithm. You can replace the last quotes with a desired comment, typically an email, to help identify the key's purpose. After this press enter. Mention here is the default location and default key. It's better to create a new key in the same location for easiness. Let's give a name id1 underscore ed25519 and press enter. You can give any name. You can give any passphrase. And press enter. Enter same passphrase you have entered before and press enter. This will create public and private key with the same location in the location you have set. First one is private and second one is public. Now let's open public file in notepad and copy down the content. Now come to GitLab and navigate to Profile. Under User Setting you will get SSH key, click on it. Then click on Add New Key. Then paste down the public key you have copied before. Then you can give any desire name in title field. Then, leave the usage type as it is. After that, you can set an expiration date. You can leave the expiration date empty so that the key will never expire. It's better to keep expiration date. Then click on add key button. You will see your SSH key here. Now you can directly come to project and clone the project using SSH. Go to the location where you want to clone the project. Right-click on it and open GitBash. Then type git clone and then name of the git URL as shown here. Then press enter. This will start to clone the project. If the clone is successful, you'll see the project's files and folders in the local directory. We are getting the code which is present in remote using SSH. You can now open the project, make changes to it, and subsequently push the code to GitLab, as so we have successfully cloned the project with SSH in GitLab. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update.